gentlemen, welcome to a cast of Hermetica the Game. This game will be between Chuckhead, who is Charlie Grumman, one of the game developers, against another game developer, Komodika Dragon. That is Chris Modica. Charlie will be playing as the sun and Chris Modica as the moon. Unit deploy stage comes. We have a water in the bottom left for sun and moon with the exact same play. Two spaces away in the left of the horizon still for the sun we have a fire piece and in the bottom right of the moon horizon we have an earth piece. In the bottom right of sun for the final deployment we will spawn a fire piece and moon in the same position also a fire piece to complete the rainbow. A quick earth spawn from the sun and a movement of his fire piece up four spaces for his initial turn. The adept comes forward two spaces, deploys a shield, and the water piece will then collide with the terrain and move it behind. And the third action for Komodika will be to move his fire piece up three of the four possible movement. A quick response from Charlie will be to collide his water piece into his adept, moving it forward, then advance it two spaces and deploy a shield, and finally, the earth piece will move up three to have potential to push both the water and fire piece as well as the adept even one space. Komodoko will respond by bringing his earth piece up two spaces. The potential to push is declined as he decides to spawn a second earth piece and even up the board state at four to four. <laughs> the water piece will then collide with terrain, moving it behind. The earth piece will push the fire two spaces into position line of sight to draw first blood on the fire piece of Komodika. Very nice move from Chuckhead to start this game off the right way. The response from Komodika will be to push his fire piece in position to fight fire with fire. Capturing that in response. Third action will be to advance the adept forward and deploy a shield to capture two pieces in one turn. That will be answered, of course, by Chuckhead colliding into the force field that was just deployed and dropping it on the adept that deployed it to capture it. That will be a force respawn on the next turn. The adept moves up two and the fire piece moves up. Force respawn will go into the adept's location instead of the back horizon and the other movement will be this is a tough move for Komodika here so with only one movement left he would like to push that fire piece and shoot but he cannot do that so instead I imagine he will do something defensive something where no more pieces could be taken since he does have the advantage of three to two up on Chuckhead. Komodika moves his fire piece into the line of sight of Chuckhead's fire piece. Uh, that will be captured. I can assume that was only an error that he did that. And uh, just like that, instead of being up 3-2 to two for Komodika, it is now up 3-2 to two for Chuckhead as he completes the rainbow and is now passing the turn back to Komodika. Komodika advances his adept two spaces, opts not to deploy a shield, and instead spawns a water unit. Charlie Quick Response has a play in mind, moves his... Fire piece with his water piece, then moves his fire piece onto the shield, moves the shield one, then moves the fire piece off of the shield. Charlie then moves the adept up into the now empty space, deploys a shield onto the earth piece of Komodika. Brilliant move. That fire piece will, of course, be captured by the shield of Moon, but nonetheless, some very fancy footwork from Chuckhead once again. Deployment of the shield followed by a movement of two by Komodika. Third action 
I'm sorry, second action will be to collide the water piece with some terrain. And the third action will be to move the earth piece behind. Uh, looks like Charlie wants to attempt to advance his adept once more. Advances two, places the shield behind. Oh, so the water piece can collide and capture the adept. Brilliant move. And then the advancement three of the earth piece from Chuckhead. It is now a two to two even board state, uh, but with a fourth forced respawn from Komodika. He will have only one action to respawn and capture the adept. Force respawn from Chuckhead. And then the advancement of his earth piece to join the water. Komodika to play. 55 seconds on the clock. This is a really exciting game. Uh, one minute turns make it kind of like speed chess. A lot of, a lot of errors are possible. Uh, more excitement happens. The advancement of the Adept two spaces, the movement of it with the water piece, and the joining of the earth piece as it advances three and lines up. We then have the movement of the Adept two spaces and the spawning of a water piece from Chuckhead. He now has one spawn of each remaining, and Komodika has one earth, one water, and two fire. Komodika moved his earth with his water, advanced his adept up two spaces, and his third action uh, will be undone as he thinks. 35 seconds to play. He will then push the adept two spaces. Oh, into danger. Chuckhead quickly responds. By moving a barrier onto the adept. Chuckhead pushing the barrier out of the way after advancing his adept two spaces. Uh, I believe that, yeah, his earth piece is now dead. So we now have two to two, two water versus one water, one earth. Uh, the force respawn will go into the adept's position. The advancement two from the sun, 50 seconds. The, the water piece will then move the adept forward one more space, and the third action will be for the last water piece to collide with the terrain, moving it in front of the adept's spawn. The adept will move back two space, or well, back one. Uh, and then forward one, so no net movement. Two to the left from the view of... Ooh, great move there. Uh, we had the earth piece push the water piece into position in order to collide with terrain and capture the adept of Chuckhead. Chuckhead will be forced to respawn, and he will then move his water piece. 50 seconds on the clock now for Komodika. Very close game. Very tight net game. Chuck had had his adept quite far on the other side of the board, but was unable to get it into the horizon and in the game. Modica's first two actions will be to spawn a fire piece, and he will then advance his adept two spaces. 53 seconds on the clock for Chuck had. All right. Looks like we have a bit of a great wall of China in the middle of the board with one water piece of Chuck head there. Um, the play for Komodika seems to be going to the right. Oh, he advances his adept two spaces, captures the water piece of Chuck head, then advances his fire piece four spaces, moves on top of a barrier. I'm sorry, that's a wall. It was on top of a wall. Third and final action will be to join the flank with the earth piece. Charlie, first action moves his adept forward to, spawns the shield behind. Looks 
like he wants to spawn a fire piece in the bottom right of his horizon. Movement 2 by Komodoka's Adept, deployment of a shield, and followed by the movement of 3 from his Earth piece to push that Adept into the barrier, I'm sorry, into the shield, and then the Water piece to move the Earth piece. Chuckhead was forced to respawn and opted to move his water piece into the enemy's horizon. Very interesting choice. <sighs> Komodoka to move his adept forward two, three, using the second action pushing of the earth piece. His final action will be movement of the water piece into the wall. Excellent, excellent move from Chuckhead planning ahead there. He put his water piece on the other side of the board. First action, collided it with a wall, and captured the enemy adept. Last action was to move fire on top of the enemy's barrier. Shield. Enemy shield. I keep saying barrier. It's a shield. On top of the enemy's shield, uh, which is a smart move because being that he is forced to respawn, he cannot use the unit the turn it was spawned. So it would be unable to capture. Uh, the second action will be to capture the water piece that captured the adept previously. Uh, in response, Chuckhead will capture that immediately by deploying a shield and moving his adept. Um, second action will be to move the fire into position and he will opt not to use his third action. Interesting. <laughs> All right, 50 seconds to play for Komodoka. Komodoka will spawn an earth piece in his back horizon, advance his water piece to collide with terrain and kill the adept of Chuckhead. Chuckhead will spawn his adept right back where it was. Doesn't seem like a good move. Komodoka will move his adept up two, his earth piece up three, and collide again with the terrain to capture the adept of Chuckhead once more. Um, Chuckhead will respond this time by spawning his adept in the back horizon and finally resting his fire piece on top of a wall. <laughs> Seems again like an interesting choice as I believe Komodoka will just move his adept, shoot the fire piece, yep, there it is, and then move the barrier of Chuckhead. Uh, this is looking good for Komodoka. Two actions from Chuckhead to spawn a water and moves his adept to and spawns a shield. Alrighty, moves the Earth piece forward three, collides the water piece into the adept, and this looks like it'll be game. Charlie does take one more piece, but Komodica will move his adept into the horizon, taking the victory on Chuckhead. Good game, well played, and thank you for watching. If you are interested in playing Hermetica the Game, please go to hermeticathegame.com or subscribe to the YouTube channel and definitely check out the Kickstarter, which is now available.